Today we're going to read Little Bear's Big Adventure by Julia Hubery. What shall we do today, Little Bear? asked Mommy Bear. Little Bear peeked out of their shady cave at the hot sun. Can we stay here where it's lovely and cool? he asked. If we do that, we will have nothing to eat, said Mommy Bear. But I have an idea. Shall we go somewhere as cool as a cave where there's, a, where there's lots of food we can catch and pick? Little Bear jumped up and down. Where is it? What will we catch? What will we pick? He asked. It's a surprise, laughed Mommy. But here's a clue. What is your favorite dessert? Strawberries, Little Bear shouted. Yum, let's go. Little Bear made up a song as he skipped along. Mommy and me on a mystery tour. I hope it's cool and not too far. We're going to make a yummy picnic with lots of strawberries that I can pick. But as the day got hotter, Little Bear became tired and grumpy. This isn't very cool, complained Little Bear as Mommy stopped on a high rocky ledge in the sun. Hush, come and look. Here's your surprise, said Mommy Bear. Little Bear climbed up beside her and looked down. Shining out of the forest like a silver moon in a deep green sky was a beautiful, cool pool. Hooray, yelled Little Bear. They followed a stream which bubbled from the rocks, splashing into rainbows as it tumbled down, 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 and into the pool. The water was icy fresh and delicious, and Little Bear loved it. First, we'll have a little rest, said Mommy Bear. Then I'll teach you to fish, and we'll pick our strawberries, and soon we'll have a perfect picnic, shouted Little Bear. Little Bear snuggled up with Mommy Bear in the mossy shade, but he was too excited to nap. I will surprise Mommy, he thought. I'll make the perfect picnic myself. Strawberries first, he said, for he knew the little nooks where wild strawberries loved to grow. When he had enough for two hungry bears, he arranged them carefully on a leaf. Now I must catch fish, said Little Bear. He looked at the tumbling stream, and he looked at the quiet pool. If I were a fish, he thought, I would hide in the cool pool. Little Bear peered into the still deep water. At first, he saw nothing. Then, did something move in the shadows? Flip flap. A flash of silver darted by. Little Bear stretched out to grab the fish, and as he did, he saw a reflection in the water, something huge and dark and hungry was reaching out to grab him. Splash! Little Bear lost his balance, balance and toppled into the pool. Down, down, down he sank. The huge dark creature jumped in after him. Little Bear struggled to escape, but strong, hairy arms grabbed at him, caught him, held him tight, and pulled him from the pool. Little Bear wriggled free and saw... Mommy Bear! Mommy! He cried. Where is the b big, hairy, scary thing that grabbed me? I am the big, hairy, scary thing, she laughed. I only wanted to make you a wake-up surprise, said Little Bear. That was a kind idea, smiled Mommy Bear, but surprises are tricky. You must be careful, or nasty surprises get mixed up with the nice ones. Mommy Bear gave him a big, soggy hug and found there was one more surprise for them both. The end. <laughs>